Take us through um, your recruiting process and what your relationship with Coach Shannon. Uh, so I was playing uh, ball in South Carolina. Uh, had a very good junior season. Got a lot of like group five looks, and then like just a relationship my coaches have with other coaches in like high school football. Shannon and uh, Ryan Barto. He knows somebody uh, in South Carolina football, and then like they just like, yo, this kid is very good. And Shannon looked at him like. We'll give him a shot, and like ever since then, I know Shannon's background, all the great linebackers he coached. I just love the, like all knowing that he has for me, and I know he's gonna make me a great linebacker. Brenda, following up on that, can you walk us through that moment when you first ever took Florida State? Guess what that meant for you personally to have that level of school in your recruitment? The uh, first of all, Florida State is like my favorite school, so when I first got the notice, like. I was excited. Like I think my teammates knew before I knew because my coach was just telling my teammates, "Like, uh, Florida State is about to come talk to you. Florida State is about to come talk to you." And then like they recruited me heavy. Uh, like D line coach came out there. A lot of people came out to see me. So I just love the interaction they had with me. Chris, what are some of your year one goals and also specifically what what have you talked to Coach Stoltz about as far as the plan for getting for your so on? Mm. Uh. Year one goals, uh, I want to make the travel team. I just want to travel with the team, get on the field, of course. But like, I know all with the college level of process and stuff like that. And I feel like the coaches do a great job of having a process for the kids. Awesome. Um, what's it been like just being interacting with someone like Adrian Lundy so far? You know, he's been coming back and just learning from him, someone who's been here for three years. Uh, it's amazing. I feel like every, in, especially in this sport, you need a mentor. He's been that for me. Even the guys, the fresh, freshmen from last year have been great mentors to me, and like everybody really helps out a lot, especially DJ. Back to Iris. Hey, through the years, uh, Florida State's had a ton of players from South Carolina, including some awesome linebackers. But were you aware of that? Have you learned any of that since you've been here? And why did Florida State become one of your favorite schools? Uh, Florida State was my favorite school since like I was very young, so I'll say. James Winston, but like that year they went to the uh, championship, like that was my uh, school. And I wasn't, I was notified like after they came and talked to me, like then I started doing my research, like okay, there's a lot of different linebackers that came out of here. But it, like, just also helps that not only in Florida State, but all the, also the players, Coach Shannon is coach in Miami and across like all his coaching jobs, he's like coached a lot of great players. Jordan? Tamir, a few of you guys talked about it yesterday, but can you talk about the bond that you have with some of the incoming freshmen and just the Tribe 24 class in general? Uh, we talk every day, like, you know, you you got your roommates, and like, we'll probably go hang out at the tour duty or like just a regular day in the cafeteria. I feel like we all like talk to each other every single day. We got study all together. So we around each other 24 seven. So it's, it's a great thing to have. Brenda? What are your strengths as a player and skill sets, I guess, that you feel comfortable with that can help you and maybe get on the, on the travel squad in year one? Uh, I feel like I have a motor. Uh, I started having a motor out there. Like, I learned my purpose of playing the sport. So I feel like they were like that. And also, I think I, I'm pretty strong. Like, out of all the freshmen coming in, like, other than O-line, I like I'm one of the strongest on the team as of right now. I think so. I think that would help out a lot, especially at a linebacker position. I got to get off of O-lineman. And I feel like running downhill, running to the ball, that's going to help out a lot. I'll go to Matt, right side. So you're from the Charlotte area. How much does it mean to you that you can be on this team to earn a spot in Charlotte for the AC Championship game and then play at home? It means a lot. It, it definitely means a lot. So this year when it, uh, Florida State went to ACC, I was definitely there. Had Charlotte very excited. A lot of, I seen more nose fans than I think I've ever seen. So I was very excited. I was very proud. This meant a lot. Everybody has their own recruiting journey. But like you said, early on, he was mostly a group of five schools, and then Florida State came in. Um, was there any chip on your shoulder about like the Power Five schools, and, and do you carry that with you now that you're here? Uh, I would say my freshman and sophomore year, I had like Wake Forest or uh, NC State come talk to me, but it wasn't heavy. 
And I feel like that was more a chip on my shoulder. And then me going to a different school after that, I was like, I gotta prove somebody. Like I got, I gotta show myself. Like this is the time, especially like it's crucial because I have kids talk to me like in high school. They like, oh, how you get there? How you get there? I'm like, your crucial year is your junior and your senior year. Your junior year lays a foundation. You do great that year. Your senior year is where you show up. Like I can still compete. I still am that way. Or you can even get better from that. Anything else for Shamir? What's Coach Shannon like? You seem pretty serious. What we see him, you know, on the field. Uh, what's he like as a recruiter um, and, and just as a coach? Uh, I look at Shannon as like, uh, like uncle. To be honest with you, like he he'll be serious, but like it's in a way you'll understand, and then like you'll have little jokes here and there. It's like very family oriented. Like he came to my house one time and like. Talk to my mom just like about real life stuff. Like sometimes I even about football, sometimes about football. So it's been great. He's like he's a very good person to be around. Adam, do you have a question? No. Okay, Ira. <laughs> did you get to know any? Did you get to know uh, Caleb and Tatum at all during the process? And and were they helpful in DJ? Also, DJ, what's he been like as a guy who's been in the system for a long time? Uh. I think I only talked to D'Lo like once or twice, but then not not really that much. But uh, Monday, I like right now. I think the most uh, talked to him a lot. We play the game with each other all the time. All the linebackers, all we do after like on the weekends is probably like play the game with each other, see who's the best. All set. All right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.